Hello Thrivers, welcome back to Thriving with Richard Bass, the channel dedicated to empowering educators, parents, and anyone passionate about creating enriching learning environments. Today, we delve into a topic close to my heart, unlocking the potential of every student, especially those with ADHD. We're about to explore a groundbreaking concept, the creation of an ideal classroom tailored to the unique needs of ADHD children. But first, let's take a moment to understand the challenges these students face. Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, commonly known as ADHD, isn't just about being fidgety or easily distracted. It's a complex neurodevelopmental condition that impacts a child's ability to focus, regulate impulses, and manage their energy levels. Research consistently shows that traditional classroom structures with rigid seating arrangements and a one-size-fits-all approach can be particularly challenging for ADHD students. Imagine a world where these students aren't just surviving in the classroom, but thriving. That's what we're diving into today. Let's talk about our first section, understanding ADHD. Before we delve into the specifics of creating the ideal classroom, it's crucial to understand ADHD beyond the stereotypes. ADHD isn't just a child being hyperactive or inattentive. It's a multifaceted neurodevelopmental disorder that affects a child's executive functions. Things like organization, time management, and impulse control. Research consistently highlights that the brains of individuals with ADHD function differently. Neurotransmitters, the messengers in our brains, operate on a different frequency affecting attention, focus, and self-regulation. This isn't a matter of willpower or laziness, it's a neurological difference. Picture this, a traditional classroom, rows of desks neatly aligned, the teacher at the front imparting knowledge. For a child with ADHD, this environment can feel like a maze of distractions, an overwhelming assault on their senses. Staying seated for extended periods becomes a monumental task when your brain is wired for constant movement and exploration. Now, imagine a space that embraces these differences, an environment where movement isn't seen as a disruptive, but as a conduit for learning. Understanding the unique challenges ADHD children face is the first step towards creating a supportive classroom. Recent studies have illuminated the various aspects of ADHD, showcasing the need for tailored educational approaches. For instance, a study published in the Journal of Attention Disorders found that ADHD impacts not only academic performance, but also social interactions and emotional well-being. This reinforces the idea that addressing ADHD goes beyond academics. It's about nurturing the holistic development of these young minds. So as we embark on our journey to design the ideal classroom, let's keep in mind the neurological intricacies of ADHD and how they shape a child's experience within the traditional educational framework. Join me as we explore the ways we can turn challenges into opportunities for growth and success. Now let's talk about the flaws of the traditional classrooms. Now that we've laid the foundation of understanding ADHD, it's time to shine a spotlight on the limitations of traditional classrooms. These classrooms, while effective for some, can inadvertently become a source of frustration and struggle for children with ADHD. Imagine being in a room where the expectation is to sit still for extended periods, observing information in a linear fashion. For many ADHD students, this environment can feel confining, stifling their natural inclination for movement and exploration. The traditional desk and chair setup, while suitable for some, can become a hindrance for those with ADHD. Research consistently shows that the one-size-fits-all model doesn't accommodate the diverse learning styles and needs of every student. A study published in the Journal of Learning Disabilities emphasizes that traditional classrooms can exacerbate the challenges faced by ADHD students, hindering their academic progress and negatively impacting their self-esteem. Consider the scenario. A child with ADHD, full of curiosity and energy, struggles to maintain attention during a lecture. The more they try to focus, the more the restlessness builds, leading to frustration and often behavioral issues. It's not a lack of interest. It's a mismatch between the learning environment and the child's cognitive style. 
Moreover, the emphasis on standardized testing and strict timelines in traditional classrooms can be an additional stressor for ADHD students. The pressure to conform to rigid schedules and adhere to stringent timelines may overshadow their ability to showcase their true potential. So, as we critically examine the flaws of traditional classrooms, let's remember that it's not a condemnation of the system, but a call for evolution. Our goal isn't to discard the old, but to refine it, ensuring that education becomes an inclusive journey for all. Join me as we explore the transformative power of reimagining the learning environment. Now let's talk about the ideal classroom design. Now that we've identified the challenges and limitations, it's time to paint a picture of the ideal learning space, one that caters to the unique strengths of ADHD children. Imagine a classroom where every aspect is intentionally designed to foster engagement, creativity, and a sense of belonging. Let's talk about seating. In our ideal classroom, traditional rows of desks give way to a dynamic landscape of flexible seating options. Picture standing desks that allow students to move freely while observing information. Wiggle seats and fidget tools become allies, not distractions as they provide an outlet for the inherent need to move. This isn't about chaos, it's about acknowledging the different bodies and minds thrive in varied environments. Consider this scenario. A student with ADHD assigned to a standing desk discovers a newfound focus and engagement. The physical activity of standing helps channel their energy positively, creating an environment where learning becomes an active, enjoyable experience. Now let's dive into the world of multi-sensory learning. Our ideal classroom engages not just the mind, but every sense. Imagine lessons that incorporate hands-on activities, visual aids, and auditory elements. Learning becomes a holistic experience catering to the diverse ways children process information. Picture this, a science lesson where students not only read about chemical reactions, but also conduct experiments, feeling the textures and observing the colors, for ADHD children, this hands-on approach transforms abstract concepts into tangible experiences, fostering a deeper understanding of the subject matter. Now, let's explore the concept of learning stations. In our ideal classroom, different corners host various learning stations, each catering to a different learning style. There's a cozy reading nook for those who thrive in quiet spaces, a collaborative project area for teamwork, and a tech zone for those who excel in digital environments. Imagine a scenario where a student with ADHD who struggles with focus in a traditional setting thrives in a hands-on project station. Here, their creativity blossoms as they engage with the material in a way that aligns with their unique strengths. Now let's talk about incorporating moving breaks. Movement breaks are not just a luxury, they are a necessity. In our ideal classroom, short, regular movement breaks are seamlessly integrated into the daily schedule. These breaks aren't just about physical activity. They serve as a reset button for the mind, allowing students to return to their tasks with renewed focus. Envision a scenario where instead of viewing movement as a distraction, it's embraced as a tool for enhanced concentration. A quick stretch or a brief walk around the classroom becomes a ritual that benefits every student especially those with ADHD. As we explore these elements of the ideal classroom, it's essential to remember that this isn't a one-size-fits-all solution. The key is flexibility, adapting the environment to meet the diverse needs of every learner. Join me as we continue to shape the vision of an inclusive, empowering classroom. Now let's talk about supporting ADHD students socially. Creating an ideal classroom for ADHD students goes beyond the physical environment. It extends into the social fabric of the learning space. Social support is a cornerstone of a child's development. And for those with ADHD, fostering positive peer interactions is crucial. Consider the scenario of a traditional classroom where social dynamics can be challenging for a student with ADHD. The impulsivity and inattention associated with ADHD may lead to unintentional social missteps, potentially affecting the child's self-esteem. In our ideal classroom, we prioritize creating an inclusive and supportive social atmosphere. One way to achieve this is through peer partnerships. Imagine a buddy system where students are paired. 
and the entire class is educated on ADHD and its unique characteristics. This not only promotes understanding, but encourages empathy and cooperation among students. Picture this. During group activities, an ADHD student collaborates with a peer who understands their strengths and challenges. The result, a harmonious exchange of ideas, mutual support, and a sense of belonging that transcends the academic realm. In our ideal classroom, educators actively promote social-emotional learning, or SEL. SEL programs teach essential life skills such as self-awareness, emotional regulation, and effective communication. For ADHD students, these skills can be transformative, empowering them to navigate social situations with confidence. Now, let's talk about positive reinforcement. In our inclusive classroom, educators celebrate small victories and efforts creating an environment where every achievement is acknowledged. This not only boosts the self-esteem of ADHD students, but also fosters a positive attitude towards learning. Imagine a scenario where a student with ADHD, who may have faced social challenges in the past, receives recognition for their unique contributions to a class project. This acknowledgement becomes a powerful motivator fueling their enthusiasm for future tasks. Lastly, support groups can play a pivotal role. In our ideal classroom, there's a space for students with ADHD to connect, share experiences, and learn from each other. This sense of community provides a support system that extends beyond the classroom walls. As we explore the social dimensions of our ideal learning space, it's evident that the key lies in fostering understanding, empathy, and collaboration. Join me as we continue to unravel the layers of an inclusive, socially supportive classroom. Now let's talk about teacher strategies for ADHD inclusivity. In our quest to design the ideal classroom for ADHD inclusivity, the role of educators is paramount. Teachers are the architects of change, the catalyst for transforming challenges into opportunities for growth. Let's explore some strategies that empower educators to create an environment where every student, including those with ADHD, can thrive. First is understanding and identifying ADHD. Our journey begins with knowledge. Educators must equip themselves with a deep understanding of ADHD and its manifestations. Professional development opportunities focused on neurodiversity and ADHD awareness can provide invaluable insights. By identifying the unique strengths and challenges of each student, teachers can tailor their approach to foster an inclusive learning space. Imagine a scenario where a teacher, armed with knowledge about ADHD, recognizes the signs in a student. Instead of viewing certain behaviors as disruptions, the teacher understands them as expressions of the student's cognitive style, adapting their teaching methods accordingly. Second is differentiated instruction. In our ideal classroom, the mantra is differentiation, recognizing that each student learns at their own pace and in their unique way. Educators tailor their instruction to accommodate diverse learning styles. This might involve varying the presentation of material, incorporating multimedia, or providing alternative assessments. Picture this, a math lesson where students are given the flexibility to choose between solving problems traditionally or using visual aids. For a student with ADHD, this freedom of choice can make a world of difference, transforming learning from a chore into a personalized, engaging experience. For our third point, let's talk about effective communication. Communication is the bedrock of any inclusive classroom. In our ideal setting, teachers actively communicate with students, parents, and support staff. Regular check-ins, open dialogue, and transparent communication channels create an environment where everyone is on the same page. Imagine a scenario where a teacher communicates regularly with parents, sharing insights into a student's progress and collaborating on strategies that work both in the classroom and at home. This partnership strengthens the support system for the student, ensuring continuity between school and home environments. Our fourth point is clear expectations and positive reinforcement. Setting clear expectations is crucial. In our ideal classroom, educators establish a positive and structured environment. Clear guidelines and routines help ADHD students navigate the learning space with confidence. Envision a scenario where a teacher outlines expectations at the beginning of the school year, emphasizing the positive behaviors they wish to see. 
When students meet these expectations, positive reinforcement becomes a powerful tool, fostering a culture of achievement and self-discipline. The fifth point is flexibility and patience. Flexibility is a hallmark of our ideal classroom, recognizing that learning is a dynamic process. Educators adapt their plans based on the evolving needs of their students. Patience becomes a guiding virtue as teachers understand that progress may be nonlinear. Consider a scenario where a teacher, instead of adhering rigidly to a lesson plan, senses the need for a spontaneous break to re-energize the class. This flexibility not only accommodates the needs of ADHD students, but benefits the entire class, creating an atmosphere of understanding and adaptability. And our sixth and final point is professional development and collaboration. Continuous learning is integral to our ideal classroom. Educators actively seek professional development opportunities focused on ADHD-inclusive strategies. Collaborative efforts, both within the school and with external specialists, enhance the collective expertise of the teaching staff. Imagine a scenario where educators engage in regular workshops on ADHD-inclusive practices. This shared knowledge transforms the entire school into a hub of support for ADHD students, creating an ecosystem where every teacher plays a role in the success of these students. As we explore these teacher strategies, it's evident that the journey to an inclusive classroom is a collaborative effort, one that involves continuous learning, flexibility, and a commitment to understand each student's unique journey. And there you have it, Thrivers. We've embarked on a journey to explore the intricacies of creating the ideal classroom for ADHD inclusivity, a space where every child can thrive, regardless of their neurodiversity. We've dissected the challenges, illuminated the flaws of traditional classrooms, and envisioned a transformative learning environment designed to unleash the potential within each student. We've painted a picture of a classroom where the traditional constraints are replaced with flexibility, understanding, and a celebration of diversity. It's a space where every student, regardless of their cognitive style, has the opportunity to flourish. But, Thrivers, the journey doesn't end here. It's a call to action for educators, parents, policymakers, and anyone passionate about creating positive change in the world of education. Let's continue the conversation, share these ideas, and work collaboratively to turn this vision into a widespread reality. Remember, the impact of an inclusive classroom extends far beyond academics. It's about nurturing the holistic development of each child, fostering a love for learning, and instilling a sense of confidence that transcends the classroom walls. Thank you for joining me on this exploration. This is Thriving with Richard Bass, where we don't just talk about change, we actively create it. Stay inspired, stay passionate, and let's continue thriving together. Until next time, take care.